Morning everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119, also HarbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. So we have an Ameritron AL80A in for repair. Plate tune air variable cap looks okay. And switch looks okay. Needs all the revisions done to it. Someone added a soft start. Actually, the customer tried to add that soft start. Now it's popping fuses. So I'm going to get to work and uh, see what's going on with the soft start first before I do anything else. And uh, I'll be back. So stay tuned. Disconnecting wiring. Took the soft start out. He had it wired all sorts of wrong. So I'm going by the schematic. And I'm going to rewire the terminal strip here, barrier strip, and start from scratch. So, see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm back with the completed Ameritron <clears throat> AL80A. This thing was a lot of work. It's all set. Got a brand new Pentalab tube. So, I'm going to go over everything I did. So, this one had a soft start before the guy went in it, the customer, and he took it out and tried to put a different soft start in, and it didn't work out. Uh, wiring was wrong in a lot of different ways, um, so I had to redo all that. Uh, SO239s had very little grip, changed those. Meter protection diode was shorted. They were actually, it was actually underneath the board, sit on top, and <clears throat> it's hard to see. So someone put the meter protection diodes in across the meters, took those out, they're not needed, with the diode between the B negative and ground, <clears throat> which is that chassis potential. So replace that, clean the rotor switches, add a gas discharge tubes. So it has a Harbach soft start in it now. It's configured for 120. Oops, sorry about that. I know some people get, they say they get motion sickness if I shake the camera too much. <laughs> so, we now have soft start. He also said the play voltage was really high. So I don't know what happened. He probably, I didn't look exactly how he had it tapped, but he may have had it, uh, you know, the uh, transformer primary taps messed up, but so, I will let the high voltage bleed off on the plate, and I'll pull the cover and show you everything I did. So, I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, where to begin? <clears throat> so, put a series glitch resistor in. I've seen people put it through the holes. See, there's foil on the other side of the board. Because they used this in the, uh, I believe, the larger Maritron amps, and they had more diodes in. I see you see the foil there and there. So I don't like doing it that way because then it could possibly arc. So I put these little standoffs in <clears throat> and I secure them to the board. I drill out two of the small holes for uh, components if you're to mount more diodes or capacitors. Drill those out number six for number six screw. Screw up through with the um, you know, internal tooth crush washer, lock washer, so the screw doesn't back out, and uh, it's nice and stubby, and then I secure the solder tabs, and I connect a new wire between the plate choke, you know, and the resistor, normally it goes from the plate choke over to the capacitor board, so I disconnect it from there, and it goes from the choke, plate choke, over to the resistor, resistor over to the capacitor board. So here's the new meter protection diode, here's the soft start, redid all the wiring, all nice nice, put some solder tabs in, redid all that wiring, the switch wire down there was barely tacked on, so I fixed that, that was, that was fun. So it's mounted with standoffs, nice and tight. Teflon dielectric wire, um, silver plated stranded center connector. I have tons of it, that's why I use it. I said that before. Brand new SO239 connectors from Allen Bond at Max Gain Systems. Cool guy over there, good company. New Zener diode, the old one was shorted. So, 
So, zip tied a bunch of stuff. So, it has the older style choke in here. It is in good condition, so I'm leaving it alone. This nut right here was backed off, and the tank coil was flopping up and down. So, I put a washer on it and a cap nut. Now it's super tight. Tighten that connection there. Tighten the connection down there. That was also loose. Add a gas discharge tubes, one side, one per side of the filament, you know, for each side of the filament. Tighten up on other hardware, fix other solder joints. And this thing's good to go. Full output all bands. So, if you need any amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. I shipped a bunch yesterday, so I didn't make any videos uh, yesterday. I have an Ameritron of the box and uh, more to get to, but I am super quick. So, Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Again, my websites are amprepairguy.com and harbachelectronics.com. Thanks for watching. Here's the old here. And uh, the old SO239s and the old soft board. So, 73. Catch you later.